Okay, I've been hatching some chicks, incubating them. Once they hatch, I found out that this is not good enough. I have to make what they call brooder box. For two or three weeks, they need a warm environment. So I went to Bunnings to buy a box. It's got to be a long box so they can have a like a cold section and a hot section. I went to Bunnings and it's forty dollars just for the box. So I said to myself, stuff that. I'm gonna pick up these drums. I've I've I bought them for ten dollars each, and I've so far used them for so many different things. So I used one of them. I made a door waterproof, and I made a light switch with a dimmer onto the lid. All the electrical is inside the wood. So. This is the dimmer, so that if it gets too hot, you can put it down. And ideally, I'm going to replace the lamp with a uh, infrared ceramic heat emitter. It makes heat without light, because the nesting is ideally without light. Usually, it doesn't have light, except in the daytime. So, I made a window as well for daylight from here. And the box is perfect because it's long, so they have the option to be in the warm side or to go to the uh, cold side. The base of it was done with some woods. I cut them in the shape of a circle, the same as the cross section of the drum, and then screwed them inside from inside with some screws into the wood it worked out perfect so there's the bruder box using a drum if anyone wants to make one like this the lid also comes out for maintenance or electric uh, if something goes wrong with the electrical stuff you can take it out and maintain it and then you take out the lid with the electrical stuff and you can wash the if you want to wash the rest of the body of the box okay this is the bruder box I was worried about fire hazard from the lamp so I made some improvements I added a thermostat I set it on 37 degrees so if it cools below 37 it should uh, start the lamp to heat up the see the differential is half a degree as you saw it kicked in now because it became too cold this is the differential half a degree and the setting is on 37 now because I have the lid open it started cooling down if I close the lid, it should start heating up again. I can monitor it from the outside. This system is for uh, the hot days. If there's constant heat addition, in addition to the lamp, the temperature might get very hot in there and might be a fire hazard so this system uh, ensures that the temperature at the probe which is roughly at the chick level where the chicks uh, will be at that spot will be 37 which is sufficient you don't need anything higher than that this system we'll make sure it doesn't get too hot so now we're 36.9 see 37 it turned off there's a relay operated thermostat uh, great idea to control the temperature and I've also put a uh, there's a dimmer there that I've wired which will also allow me to put the power setting I can have a 
very hot during the cold times put it on high so it will add a lot of heat and during the hot times I can put it on lower heat setting so it doesn't keep turning on and off on and off all the time which is not good for the lamp and I'm going to get a ceramic heat uh, emitter instead of the light because that will be more natural so they can have a night time with no light it kicked in again because I have the lid open this is the final product temperature 36 it should turn on soon see because I opened the lid it got cold that one's a new guy that little one The good thing about the light is These are vents also for aerating as well as there as well as the lid. Right? <laughs>